Hey, this is State Rep Chris Voss, and I'm out here with my friend and colleague, State Rep Tom Demmer. Uh, we're hearing in the news, and we're going to be hearing in the news, more about JCAR uh, when it comes to legislation and legislative intent and all of that stuff. And so instead of me coming on here trying to explain to you guys what JCAR is, what they're responsible for, who's a part of JCAR, thought... We'll go straight to the source. We have uh, a good friend who is a member of JCAR. And so, Tom, if you could tell us what does JCAR stand for, what do they do, all of that good stuff. <laughs> Absolutely. So uh, thanks for the opportunity yeah. to talk about JCAR. I think there has never been more interest right. in what previously was a kind of an insider technical panel that, that folks didn't know existed or didn't really uh, have a lot of relevance in their lives. But in the last year with the uh, executive orders from the governor and the implementation of many of those executive orders that have been done through rules, JCAR has come right in the spotlight on a lot of these key issues. So JCAR, very simply, it's the Joint Committee on Administrative Rules. So there are two important pieces of that. The first is it's a joint committee, meaning we have both representatives and senators who are on the same committee. So it's not just a, ch a chamber of the House or of the Senate, it's a joint committee. There are 12 members, six representatives and six senators. And interestingly, this is different from most committees, there's an even split of Republicans and Democrats. Great. So that's right. <laughs> so, so instead of having a, a one party having a partisan right. a, a majority, there are six Republicans and six Democrats. Is, is there any other committees that are like this? Well, not really that have official oversight. So there are right. some committees that provide reports that are evenly split, but this is one that actually has some uh, legal effect. Okay. And the idea, the reason that it's split evenly between the parties and between the two chambers is because JCAR is not designed to operate as a policy-making body. Right. Instead, we're there to assert a, a check and balance on the executive branch for the legislature as a whole. So sort of for the institution of the House of Representatives right. or the Senate, uh, you know that when we debate laws in Springfield, we pass bills, yep. uh, we only go to a certain level of detail with that bill. And many of the things that translate state policy into the actual day-to-day -day operations in a state agency come in the form of administrative rules that are made. And so bills that we vote on will right. many times say, this agency shall um, develop administrative rules to carry out this program, right. to set up the parameters for this program. And so that's really where JCAR comes in. In a typical world, that's where JCAR comes in. We pass a new bill. The agency then puts together administrative rules to carry it out. And we get to review those rules before they go into effect to make sure it aligns with the front end of that process, our original right. intent, that all of those things continue to carry out in the right direction because it's so critical to get the right rules right. in order to implement the actual policy that you started with.